If you want to tow a really big trailer or haul a whole lot of payload, you might be shopping for a heavy-duty truck. Well, Consumer Reports bought all three of the big contenders, Chevy Silverado 2500, Ford F-250, and the Ram 2500. Many of these trucks are sold as fleet work vehicles, but we bought our trucks the way a consumer with a big horse trailer or camper would, loaded leather-lined four-door crew cabs. We bought each truck with its optional turbo diesel engine. With tons of torque, they make towing easy. But with all that power, don't expect super fuel economy. Equipped this way, these trucks don't come cheap. Each one was over $50,000. Heavy duty trucks inspire fierce rivalries with their makers trying to leapfrog each other in their stats. But here's the thing, each of these trucks is really capable. Need to tow 12,000 pounds or haul more than 2,000 pounds payload? Each truck can do it easily. Each truck has features like integrated trailer brake control, diesel exhaust braking, and giant towing mirrors, all to make towing easier. There are more common traits. Each has a rather stiff ride that improves when the truck is loaded. Handling is worse than a half-ton pickup truck. These are big, heavy vehicles, and they feel that way to drive. It doesn't mean there aren't differences, though. Our Ram 2500 has a Cummins inline six-cylinder turbo diesel. Cummins makes diesels for big rigs. They have quite a following. That said, though, this engine's a bit low on horsepower compared to the V8 diesels in the other heavy-duty trucks. Also, fuel economy's really not that good at 13 miles per gallon overall when not towing. In Laramie trim, the cabin is quite nice. There's also quite a bit of room in the rear seat. Transmission shift quality can be a bit rough, but it does smooth out with a heavy load. The Ram was slow to get traction and stability control, but it did show up finally for 2012. The GM and Ford diesels require periodic refills of a urea-based diesel exhaust fluid. The Ram doesn't. That does save some money and it does save some hassle, but it's really not that big of a deal. Ford's F-250 has a lot of good things going for it. The cabin is immense inside. There's a giant back seat, lots of cabin storage. Also, the cab is fairly quiet inside. There's also some clever features, like a row of extra switches for operating things like snow plows, and there's a fold-down tailgate step. Ford's own Power Stroke turbo diesel is more than capable, and at 16 miles per gallon overall when not towing, it gets the best fuel economy among these three trucks. But this truck has a big drawback. Even compared to other heavy-duty pickup trucks, the Ford's emergency handling capabilities are really low. Despite stability control, the F-250 could only make it through our avoidance maneuver at a really, really low speed. It also has the longest stopping distances of the group. The Chevy Silverado is a twin to the GMC Sierra. The advantage of the GM twins is that they're sort of the athletes of the heavy-duty truck set. Their Duramax turbo diesel engine and their Allison automatic transmission, they provide the best performance of the three tested trucks. What's more significant is that these trucks actually handle closer to their half-ton equivalents than the other tested trucks. Handling's more responsive, helped partly due to GM's unique independent front suspension. Braking distances are decent as well. The GM trucks aren't perfect, though. Their rear seat in the crew cab is smaller than the other trucks. Also, engine noise in the cab can be quite pronounced. No question, heavy-duty trucks are extremely capable vehicles but we strongly recommend that consumers think if they really need to buy one of these big trucks. Half-ton trucks, they can haul 10,000-pound trailers. They ride better, they handle better, they usually stop quicker, and they cost a lot less money. Unless you're hauling a big trailer or a heavy load every day, for most people, a half-ton truck is going to be a better all-around choice.